Hi, my name is Carrie with Food Stamps Now YouTube channel. Today I'm going to walk you through how to log into your Georgia Gateway online benefits account. Georgia Gateway is the online benefits system used in the state of Georgia to distribute and manage several benefits programs including food stamps, WIC, TAMF cash assistance, medical assistance, CAPS, Peach Care for Kids, and more. So stay tuned and I will show you exactly how to log into your Georgia Gateway account, including what to do if you forgot your user ID and how to reset your password. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you're trying to log into your Georgia Gateway online account is open up a new browser. So you can go to Google or you can type directly into your URL gateway.ga.gov. This will take you directly to the Georgia Gateway website. Now if you look at my screen here, you will see the website it should look exactly like this. Once you're on the website, you're going to want to scroll all the way down and notice this blue box here on the right. Scroll down to the end of the blue box and what we're looking for is this button, the Manage My Account and Login button. When you find this, click on it. It will take you to a new page. On this page, you will be asked to enter your user ID and password for your Georgia Gateway online account. In order to gain access, you must have already set up a Georgia Gateway online account and created a user ID and password. If you have not done that, then you need to go back and create an account before you proceed with this video. Assuming that you already have a user ID and password, let's proceed. So once you're ready, you can enter your user ID and password information here. When you've entered that, you can click the Login Now button. After you click Login Now and you've entered the correct password, you should see a page that reviews the confidentiality agreement. Each time you log in, you will have to review this and either hit accept or I do not accept. In this case, I'm gonna hit I accept so that I can proceed to my account homepage. Once you are in your account homepage, you'll see several different options. Now the Georgia Gateway account can be used for several different actions. These include applying for benefits, managing your benefits, checking your benefits, that's including when you will receive them, how much you will receive, um, submitting new information such as if there is a change to your household income, if there's a change to the number of members in your household, those kind of things. Um, and then you can also use Georgia Gateway to renew your benefits, upload doc documentation, and then receive any notification or notices directly from Georgia Gateway. So your account homepage will look just like this. You see you have an option here on the right, which is the blue button to apply for benefits. We can click on that and you can proceed through the application process. I'm not gonna walk through all of this right now, but you can see from Georgia Gateway, you're able to apply for medical assistance, childcare and parent services, food stamps, cash assistance, and then WIC. We're just gonna go back so I can show you if it lets me. All right, let's go back and log in since it did not wanna work for me. All right, so once you're back in your account homepage, you will see that there's an option that you, if you already have a case number or if you're currently receiving benefits, you can plug in your case number here and it will, it will link your current benefits to your Georgia Gateway account. What this does, it allows you to access your benefits online, um, including renewing, checking your benefits balance, uploading a document. So in order to link your case to your Georgia Gateway account, you will need your date of birth, your social security number, and your client ID in order to continue. 
If you're having trouble linking your case, highly suggest you call Georgia Gateway Customer Service. You can do that by calling 1-877-423-4746. Let's cancel this. All right, so we're, now we're back to our account homepage. So if you have any pending application for benefits, if you scroll down, you'll see that down here in this box that says status of application. You'll see that I submitted an application here. You can see the date and then it'll have the program applied for, uploaded documentation. It basically just gives you a status and an update on your benefits application. Now that's all I can really show you inside the account. I'm gonna go back out and now I'm gonna show you what to do if you have forgotten your user ID or your password for Georgia Gateway. So let's log out. All right, so now we're back to the Georgia Gateway homepage. When you're on this homepage, you wanna scroll back down and find the Manage My Account and Login button. So you're gonna to wanna to click this again and you'll be taken back to the same login page. If you have forgotten your user ID, you will see there's a link here right at the bottom of the exit button. Click this forgot user ID link. In order to ret retrieve your user ID, you have to enter several pieces of information, so make sure you have this. And it also must be linked to your Georgia Gateway account. You'll be asked to enter your email address, phone number, and security questions. You will also have to enter your first name and your last name. You have to enter this information in order to retrieve your user ID. The information must be linked to your Georgia Gateway account, so please keep that in mind. When you've successfully filled out this information, just click the continue button. But in this case, we're gonna cancel and we're gonna go back. Now, if you've forgotten your password, you're gonna click this link right below the exit button that says forgot password. For this, you will enter your user ID and you will search for your user ID in the system. So I plugged in my user ID, I pr press search, and you're given a few options to reset your password. You can either do that through email or you can do that by answering a set of security questions. You can select, you can select which you would prefer and then proceed that way. If you choose email, you must have access to the email that's on file with your Georgia Gateway account. If you no longer have access to that email, I suggest you use the security questions in order to be approved to reset your password. Once you pass this verification, you can then create a new password and log into your Georgia Gateway account. All right, that's it for now. If you have any additional questions, we highly recommend you contact Georgia Gateway itself. Um, they do have a customer service phone number and they do have availability to speak with you if you're having additional trouble, trouble logging into your account. As always, if you would like more videos like this or if you found it helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We really appreciate the support so that we can create more videos for you. If you have any questions, I'm happy to help answer as much as I possibly can in the comments section. Please let us know if there's any other videos you would like, to cover, like us to cover regarding Georgia food stamps. In the meantime, we'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.